everybody. Happy Sunday morning. I have got such an array of things here on the, oh shit, on the ironing table, look, that we're gonna go through today. Very exciting because I'm on such a regime and, um, and it's working quite well. So I'm desperate to share it with you. It's a combination of many things. I'm just trying to get my, my tripod sorted. Well, not tripod, I've got this new contraption, but I think it's working. Good morning, good morning. Um, I am gonna talk through today my entire vitamin routine, because many of you have been asking it. I'm gonna talk about tools. I'm gonna talk about what I'm eating. I'm gonna talk about the exercise I'm doing. Um, but I'm feeling since I spoke to you last week, that I'm really noticing, good morning everybody, I'm really noticing the change already and that's so stimulating because sometimes starting a routine, the longer it takes us to make a change, the more we feel, oh, let me reach for the toast, let me reach for something, let me, let me cancel that exercise class today. And I am still on a mission. So I wanted to kind of share with you how I'm getting there to inspire some of you who are feeling a bit, I'm not sure. And for those of you who are doing it too, that we can be doing it together. Good morning. Let me just say good morning to a few of you. I'm in such, I feel so good this morning. Tani, good morning, Lisa. Oh, this thing is going to move around. Karina, Joanna, Jenny, Ellen. Linda, Alison, Sinwan, Anne, Jill, Linda, Deborah, Joanna, Wendy, Maxine. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so I'm going to start off because I'm going to do a bit of a skincare routine whilst I talk to you. I'm going to take you also through my morning skincare routine. And I hope I've got all the things here because I'm moving around a bit at the moment. I did have Dr. Frank. Yes, I'm actually going to try today an exfoliator I haven't tried for a while before I put my Sunday morning mask on. So... Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion in a bottle, which I must have used for about seven years. I think this product's been out forever, but I remember it's quite strong. And I saw the packaging had changed and I thought, had it got milder? It's got this kind of lemony taste to it. Good morning, good morning! Um, and I've always liked the freshness of the feel. I feel it's not as grainy as it used to be and not as harsh. Let me just see if this is a more sensitive version that I picked up. Sorry, one second, I bought it yesterday. No, pharmaceutical grade crystals, mimics a professional in-office procedure. I first had microdermabrasion with Dr. Pat Wexler in New York, who's the kind of um, dermatologist to the stars in New York, or used to be, but I had it and I remember going and this thing sucked. Um, it kind of, you have all these crystals as you've done it and it sucked, good morning everybody, it sucked. Uh, your skin and at the same time it pushed these crystals in and and cleaned your skin and sometimes I think they had aluminium in them I don't know what they had but but people went off the concept of the microdermabrasion machine it was very rough too but it was the first time ever in the history of my scrubbing that I came out of a dermatologist and I thought oh my god my skin is like glass it was mesmerizing it was very revealing and that reinforced my obsession with exfoliation and I always start with a good old exfoliation a good old scrub up and I have not stopped doing that for 20 years I probably actually this was about 15 or 18 years ago I went to see her um but this is Dr Brandt who's a derm American dermatologist and I bought this in Space NK but you can buy him anywhere mm, sort of of the doctor's ranges I would say he sits Dr Dennis Gross you know he's sea bags probably a bit more but all those guys who are doctors who decide to do a skincare range I find far more exciting than somebody who's working um, for a mass consumer product range or a sort of you know I've said this a lot but a, a Lancome or an Estee Lauder or those kind of things there's certain products in some of those big department store anchors that we go into which I think have good products and oddly um, Longcomb found my office address and they sent me some products last week and I was like oh I literally was just about to give them somebody because you know I hate this principle of being sent things without asking for them but I thought they're here I wouldn't have bought them so I am gonna try them I can't remember what they sent me some creams I'm gonna try them all right I'm not gonna diss something until I really have tried it myself but you know me I like a cosmeceutical brand far more uh, so Dr. Dennis, he's on, I mean, sorry, not to Dr. Dennis, that'd be um, rude to Dr. Peter. I've got Dr. Peter on the morning. I'm just gonna say good morning to a few more people. Um, oh dear, and my, I just gotta hold on the thing when I do. Um, oh, so many of you joined. Um, say, uh, uh, 
Aphrodite. What a beautiful name, Aphrodite. I mean, named after your wonderful gods. Tracy, organise my wardrobe. I might do that today. Let's see if we've got time. Elizabeth, Julia, Chrissy, Avina, um, Steph, um, somebody who's totally, I can't read their writing. Priya, Quella, Christina, Robin. Good morning, everybody. So I leave that on, I scrub it in. Many of you can do a gentle kind of exfoliation and just put it on and leave it on. This is the exfoliating mask you can actually leave on. I like to really scrub well. I think when you're scrubbing, let's get to basic principles. I'm doing basic principles, to basic principles today. God, my English is good. But I always scrub around my upper lip area and anyone who is over the age of 30 should be doing this because even if you don't smoke through speaking, we do create little lines up here. And I have also got quite a few lines on my lips. So I just really scrub around and wake it up. Last night I did do a bit of needling, so this is gonna go into even more. I have a little bowl here, so I'm now gonna take, oh dear, on the ironing board. What I got down there here. I'm gonna take a flannel. I'd usually probably do this with water at a tap, but I'm not in front of the sink. Take it off. And with these kind of scrubs, unless you really take it off, you'll find some in with your moisturizer. So really take it off. And then, because it's my Sunday morning, a few of you asked me last week on Instagram how often I do a mask. And you know what? I love a mask and I'm always trying out masks. So it's probably a bad question to ask because I do them most probably every other day. But on a Sunday morning, I definitely do one. And I look at my skin and I think, where's my skin at? What kind of mask do I need? And, and I have had a phase of loving dry sheet masks. I still love them. I still use them on the back of my motorbikes going to do this morning because it protects me from the London traffic and scares off, scares off the neighbors. Um, but I love still a classic mask and, you know, a cream-based mask. So there's a few that if you couldn't do this one, I'm gonna give you some suggestions of what you could do. Hang on, you're all asking me questions now and I feel I should go through questions. Um, may, I'm using 0 0.2 Swiss needle clear road, but not sure it's enough. Shall I go for 0 0.5? If you started using 0 0.2, you could go to a 0 0.5. Yes, I would say I did 0 0.2 for about um, a few weeks and then I went on to a 0 0.5, so yes. Which um, Niall products would you recommend? Copper, amino, I'll, uh, um, Isolate is one of my favorite. I don't know if I brought it up here this morning. It's your basic preparation. I think it's fantastic. A neck elasticizer I am trying right now. Um, I really rate uh, Niod. I think they're fabulous. So I'm gonna now do this mask and it's from Biologie Grechange who do the P50 product that Caroline Huron's told me about uh, a couple of years ago and I love, which is a kind of acid toner. Um, they do a sort of lotions and potions. They're sold in, I got this in I think I got this one actually in Medispa, but you can buy it in um, Liberties. So uh, there's three different types of masks. One of them I've had on, it's brown, it smells like cow's poo, really smells like cow's poo. And even when you take it off, it slightly smells like cow's poo. But if you need detoxification of your skin, it's fantastic. This one is the mask V. Visolastine, but this is kind of when you're a bit dry and you want a kind of fresh face again. And then there's a third mask whose name I can't remember right now. But I'm gonna put a generous dolloping on of it. Uh, it has a very nice smell. This one, it's unlike its uh, sister who is the brown one. And I'll put that on everywhere that I have done my microneedling. Many of you might not put a mask on your neck, but really consider wherever you put something on your face, you should put it on your neck. Although I didn't actually do any microdermabrasial scrubbing there, but that's okay. I just was too busy talking to you. So this one, I go right up to my eye and other cream-based masks, if you would like one, this one is not penny pinching. Um, I can't remember how much it is, but it could be like 47 pounds or something. Uh, but there are three, <coughs> three cream masks I also love and I put them on Instagram last week. One of them is number seven's beautiful skin. I'd say this one, is a little bit more penetrating and gives my skin a little bit more than just sort of nice plumping that the number seven was. But if you wanted a cream-based mask and you want to spend up to 20 quid, that one. Oddly, um, this is more like, but a little bit more intense, Reno, René Guino's Mask Essential, which I've used for 20 years, which has that kind of, I'm getting a little bit of tingling. The Mask Essential has lavender and camphor and, and lemon 
um, in it. And I don't quite know the ingredients of this one, but I just know it works really well. Um, just finished my morning routine. Andalou scrub, yes, fantastic. I suggest once, great stuff. And then use my gorgeous stack. Wonderful, Anne. I'm very happy you love it. Um, it's uh, the, I, I do adore Andalou products. I think they're fantastic. Really fantastic. Okay, uh, oh yeah, mask for reducing pores, cleaning out pores. Okay, I'm gonna research them, Lewis. I think that, um, the gr funnily enough, the, um, the, the, the shit smelling mask is really good for refining pores as well, but it doesn't dry out skin at the same time. Uh, but let me look at pore refining masks, because if I was in my bathroom now, I could give you one or two, because I've got them there, but I'm not. So I'm gonna go now, do I use Environ? Uh, I have, um, R R N. I have used Environ, and I think it's a very good range. I've used um, the blue ones where you start at number two and you move up three, four, five, and it has vitamin A in it. It's a really good range. I use it for about a year, but I'm always looking at different things, so I then moved on, but I, I still think it's a South African brand for any of you who don't know it, and they have Atfast, Atfast, which is a range for problem skin, and then they have a range for aging skin. Um, <coughs> they have a roller, a micro needle roller, which I would suggest not getting. It's, it's the most weakest of micro needle rollers. There's hardly any needles on the barrel. And I found it very, very um, actually disappointing because I, I was at a really nice woman, Misha, who does my eyebrows. And somebody had said the Environ uh, roller is great. One of you did, but I tried it. And for me, that's not a roller. That's a little, well, that's a very little introduction to roller. Okay. Last one, you mentioned a product that you used on your hair to get it bouncy. I think probably I used, let me see if I've got it here, darling. Um, it is on the blog, but I'll see, hang on. No, but it's from, it's from Color Wow, and it's called Transformation. It's in a tube, and you put it on your hair, then you blow dry your hair a bit like I did last week, and it really changes it. A micro needle roller, Swiss Clinic have one, and there's a fantastic woman, Teresa Tamari, Tamari, I'm gonna get her name on, who does lasers, who's a friend of Caroline Hiron's. And I'm going to look at her. She's got, um, she's gone and done um, a needle and she wants to come and show it to you. I'm very excited to see it because I, I'm always after somebody who's making the best microdermal abrasion, I'm, the best micro needle. So hold this space. In the meantime, Swiss Clinic is good and lots of people ring up. The gold face roller for wrinkles, Elizabeth, I think gold has great properties, um, but you're not going to really have much gold on that. I think the cooling effect is good of it. Uh, I've got something here, which is the jade one I'm gonna talk through. And I think that's similar, that it's about how you use it more than the properties inside it, because how much jade is in that, which is gonna work on my skin. It's more how I'm gonna move it around my face. So. I don't know the shape of your one, but it could be. Best way to get started with glycolics and retinols, please, affordable products. Glycolic and retinol, affordable product. Um, oh, I wish I was in my bathroom now. I would say on glycolics, you could do Pixie. Um, they do good, the pads, which um, are recommended by a lot of people. So those kind of ranges, and then use glycolic and you say glycolic and hello from Macedonia. Hello, hello. I micro needle twice a week. Um, uh, Siobhan, I will let me have a look more and I'll try and get back to you later on it because I've got to think in my bathroom what I've got because it, it's gone past me. Retinols. Paula's Choice, I think, is a great range and I, it, I think it's that mid range which has enough science behind it. So for retinols, I would consider doing that. Um, hello from Egypt. Good morning. Have you ever? tried Philorga. I did try Philorga. They had a mask which you pump down and I found it very difficult getting the stuff out. They have a, a line filler, which is this product you put on where you feel you have lines. I'm just not sure about Philorga. I bought it in Marks and Spencers and, you know, I also see it in some pharmacies. So it shouldn't put me off it's in Marks and Spencers because they stop very good products. But but the smell of everything in the range is the same. And that fi I find that weirdly frustrating when somebody puts the fragrance throughout a range because it makes me feel that they've made too much of a, a, a base formula for everything that's similar. S but I don't know, there is quite a lot of science behind it. I need to try more of their products, um, but it's not one I've rushed back to. 
I'm not, well, not when I rush out. The ordinary glycolic, yes, I'm sorry, exactly. Can we go back to that woman? Affordable glycolics and retinols, the ordinary. They're brilliant. My brain has gone this morning. And if you want to do a retinol, they have three different types of retinols uh, that you can try. And they have a glycolic, they have an AHA, BHA, um, acetona, which is kind of this purpley color. I put it on myself before I use it on my hands and face. Really good, really good. And as good as something that's 20 quid. Yes. So, um, exactly. Thank you. God, it's nice. Nip and fab boots. Sell them. Thank you. Forehead line recommendations, please. Um, it's, I know, I think it's not jade. Debbie, I know it's not jade. It's, it's inspired by jade. It's Lexi. It's a green marble. But I think it's the same as the gold one. It's the weight and the cooling and it's the way you move it that's important. But thank you for pointing that out. Um, am I going to do a book all about my beauty knowledge? I'd totally buy it. That's so kind of you. I feel I'm such an online girl and I have in my time done many books. I've done 11, 11 books over the years, not for, you know, five years have I done a book because I did them all with Susanna. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know is the answer. Um, and also things change, you know, products change. Although there's, you know, there's many products that I've tried, which I've had for many, many years. So I don't, we're very squinted, aren't we? So I don't feel I'd necessarily have to do updated often, but I just think because we've got online, they all saying to your foot, uh, because we've got online, um, we want updated information, don't we? Um, good morning, good morning, Sharon, a beauty Bible. Wrinkles around the eyes, what to use? I think wrinkles around the eyes is about how you put on your products. So they're there, darling, and you can use, you know, eye creams which, which are meant to diminish wrinkles around the eyes. I think they help soften them. I think to actually get rid of a wrinkle with an eye cream is impossible, but you can soften it and maybe you can prevent it happening as strongly. But it's about how you put on your creams and whether you pull this way or whether you go down that way. And I'm going to show you a routine I was given by somebody recently to deal with puffiness around the eyes, but also to make sure whenever you put on cream, you're putting it on this way so you're not making more of them. Would you really appreciate Get back to me, Trini. Sorry. Also, Siobhan, what uh, opinion on Poldo and Cultivate? Uh, Siobhan, I think I did now. Hang on, Siobhan. Hang on, Siobhan. Let me go back to you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, best way to get started. Yes. So Siobhan, that's it. Do the ordinary. Go and buy them. They're between four and ten pounds. All right. They're, they're a fantastic price. They have a very good range. Um, I would do the um, AHA, BHA, um, purpley um, thing for the acetona and I would do some of their retinols. I think it's a really good, a good primer, Sharon. Um, depends what kind of, how you want to prime your skin. So I would say Sunday Riley has a really good primer. It's got a bit of color in it and I've loved that. I now use my BFF cream as a primer, but that's just me. Thank you. Um, you wish, Cheryl, it had more staying power. You know what? I find it does have staying power. It depends what you're putting it on over, but I'll just show you how I put mine on later. Um, love you showing us the real you without all the glam. Well, you know, that's just me. Um, you awesome. What do you think of Paula's Choice? I think it's great. I like Paula's Choice. Um, Beauty Pie, I do. I'm, I was given by Marcia Kilgore, who owns Beauty Pie. They're retinols, and they're on my list of things to try. And in February, I will be trying them for a month to see how they are. The best mask for super-duper dehydrated skin. Um, I would say... If you're on a budget, Kelly's, do number seven beautiful skin. But if you've got super duper dehydrated skin, it could be a part of that is that you, you're not exfoliating enough. And that sounds weird, but if you don't exfoliate very much on your skin and you keep putting thick creams on, you're putting thick creams onto dead skin and you will still feel you have a very dry skin. Whereas if you really exfoliate it either with an acetona or with... Um, uh, physical exfoliation, then put on a mask. It's going to penetrate better. And even I would say, because I use masks more for plumping and lifting and making my skin look less tired than real hydration. And if I want to get hydration onto my face, what would be better for me is to do a, a good exfoliation, to do a little micro needling. I've got here, I've got brought a needle up to show you. That's my Swiss Clinic one. And then put on a penetrating serum. Um, which can go really deep in and I, I guarantee your skin will feel 
um, less dry. If you say dehydrated, then I'd say you need to drink water. But if you feel your skin is dry, then I'll do what I, what I said. Um, Seville Airport, hello. Um, Link Hoya by Kerastas is amazing. I mentioned it the other day, I'd love you to try it and see what you think. I will, I'm gonna put it on my list. Thank you very much. Um, sunscreen Aven. I think my, I love uh, Aven sunscreen. I think it's very good. I used it for years. Um, and there's an emulsion and a cream of the, of the 50. And there's one tinted as well. So I like the emulsion because I think it's not going to cause any problems with your skin because the cream is quite thick. But I also love most HelioCare SPS 50 if you want real coverage uh, for your face. Um, uh, can retinols help with wrinkles around the eyes? They can, and there are certain retinol creams that are for around the eyes too, but you've got to be very careful. Hi, Trinia, I'm building a walk-in wardrobe. What is the essential sections you build? Just got my stack. Okay, Kate, I would say, I mean, I've got my wardrobe behind me here. I think you need, it depends what space you've got, but I would say for me, I need shirts, jackets, coats, because I'm obsessed with coats, and dresses, I hardly have anything. And then Muji boxes, which I put underneath the wardrobe to put things in I don't wear so often. And then a thing above for handbags and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go through my vitamins now, ladies, and I will come back to these questions. Um, is you, I'm using coconut oil daily on my face bad. I heard it causes spots. Deborah, if it doesn't cause spots for you, um, there is a lot of benefit to coconut oil. And if you have a simple routine and you've got relatively good skin, some people slather that on and it looks amazing. And Rosemary Smith, Rosemary Swift, a wonderful makeup artist who brought out a makeup range, uh, totally vegan organic. Her, the basis of her range is a coconut oil for the face, which is beautiful and I've tried it. So I kind of trust her and I think it's a wonderful natural product. Is the couch still for sale? I don't know what you mean, I don't know. Which products do you use when you said it's important to concentrate on the top lip area? I used just the micro, um, I was using, come on, come on, where is it? It's now gone, it's now disappeared from sight, hasn't it? I was using Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion, which is, ah, oh, there it is, because it's fallen off the bloody ironing board. Okay, ladies, I'm gonna stop answering questions for a second. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing in my routine. So, I have, since the 29th of uh, December, I have been eating no, nothing white. So I've had no carbohydrate, I've had no sugar, I've had no pasta. I've had about 10 pieces of very thin black bread over the days, that's my thing into bread. I've had no sugar at all, apart from a little relapse at the Connaught with Lila, I took her for a tea on Friday, and I had, I had a little, they had these most beautiful little um, cakes. So what I did, this sounds so silly, and I, I learned this trick from Elizabeth Hurley. It's like, I took a knife, and I had to say it, and I thought it was just hilarious, but I did it. So I took a knife and fork, and I cut up this beautiful cake into like eight pieces. And because I hadn't had anything sweet for uh, two weeks, I, I sort of took each little bit and it was delicious. And I didn't go mad, you know, and, and I've got a very nice new trainer called Natalie. She comes once a week to me and I go once a week to her. Then on Monday, I'm starting with the office and we're going to this gym, Lomax gym. And um, we've, you know, Mark and I have, have um, paid for uh, the, the office to go for a month, three days a week, and everyone books in. So we put up a little diary in the office and everyone booked in so quickly. So I'm starting on Monday. The whole team went on Friday and they said it was so bloody hard. So I'm going to be careful because I'm very competitive and I'm twice the age of all of them that I don't do any damage to myself. But my routine at the moment has been, um, you know, one day I'm doing yoga reform uh, one day i'm doing reformer pilates then i'm doing mat pilates then i'm in the gym doing just little sort of step up step downs but nothing too mad because i do have a few injuries and i think when you haven't done sport for ages and you're going back into sport um you've got to be careful with your body because the worst thing is that you tr do too much and then suddenly you make an injury and you can't do anything which would be a nightmare i have a bad knee and i have been talking i talked last week about this kind of you know, the water retention that I had in my body. So I've been doing a little bit of research on that. And I had talked with you last week that I'm taking turmeric and I'm taking a few different things. And I'm just gonna show you now all the vitamins I'm taking. 
And they might seem a load for you, but I had a mixture in my bathroom that over the months I've been buying and I hadn't taken and I put them in the back of my cupboard. I don't know how often, best retinols, darling, I'd say the ordinary Paula's Choice um, and then Neostrata and then things like Differin and Professionals. Um, uh, Okay, the ordinary is great, guys. Thank you very much. Adult acne tips. Thank you. Couch, couch, couch. I don't know what that's. I love Master in your bathroom. I know she was great. Okay, we'll do that. I'm getting great results from with Click Modus Apocare. I'll look at them. Um, okay, okay. All right, there you go. Best buys. Best buy labels on skincare. Some are only six millimeters. How true are they? Best buy labels on skincare. Um, I would say. <clears throat> the Best Buy is a legal requirement. Um, so you're on your own after the period in which they've... Six months is very low for some skincare products. That could be because they're organic. I remember Kaja Weiss, which is a very, very organic range, had six months. And I, they just dried up afterwards. I'd say two months after that, I wouldn't use the product. It's a personal choice. It depends how you keep them. It depends how warm they are in your bathroom. Things like that. Um, Ugh, you feel everything you use makes your face shiny and oily, it's driving you nuts. Maybe you need to balance out your, the oil on your face. And one thing you could consider, Sarah, is taking some zinc. Um, because some people who have oily prone, acne prone skin take zinc and it does help. So it's something you can consider as a, as a more than a topical solution. Your beauty pie for on a budget is great. You made it good. I love that, Karen. Good morning. Good morning. You've got dark circles and melasma. How do you get rid of this? What sort of treatments can you get? Um, my eyes also start to droop. Claudia, there's a whole array here, darling, because I want to go on to my vitamins. If you go on to Trini London, um, there's something called Tea Time, and we've introduced a carousel on the site now, and it will come up if you're a patient, and it will say Tea Time. Go in there. I have done something on um, pigmentation and melasma, and it's got lots of great products in it. And I've done something on eye creams too. So have a look at that. Hope that helps. And I'll add it to our list to do for a Sunday morning one. Um, best vitamins for skin, multi or skin specific. Okay, I'm going to take you through now. I'm going to take you through all my vitamins. Um, you know what, Maggie? I do recommend many things. It's mainly because I try lots of things. It doesn't mean the 380 things or 500 things I've recommended over the last few years I use all at once. But I think people need choice and... You're very lucky that you have fantastic skin. Some of us are not blessed with fantastic skin and some of us kind of want to make our skin better. But you're really lucky. You're really lucky. Um, the Miracle Broth from La Mer, is it good? I used the Miracle Broth from La Mer for two years and I tell the story a bit. When Lila was born, somebody gave me the whole range and I used it. And I always felt Lila knew that it was a first smell. You know, there she was latched onto me and I had creme de la mer on my face. And it was weird because whenever she was a bit kind of, I'd kind of have the creme de la mer here and the smell, she loved the smell. And it was just this kind of soft and gentle smell. It's a great product. Um, I use their lip balm. It's the best lip balm in the entire bloody world. It costs 50 quid, it's a killer. But uh, I do rate it, yes, even though it's not even though it is owned by Estee Lauder. It's part of a very big company, but it's good. High concentrations of vitamin C can help with melasma. Yes, they can. And I've recommended some Lucia. Um, any tips for late 20 something Skin surviving Australian summers. We just had the hotter day on record here. 47 bloody degrees. I mean, great SPFs. Um, <coughs> using something that's not going to clog your pores. Exfoliating quite a lot, using serums, not really using much moisturizer, I'd say. Why is everyone going on about a couch? I know, uh, I think it's, I think it's some, somebody trolling, but I think he's gone now. Don't know who it is, but anyway, if he comes back on again, I'll get rid of him, okay? Um, oily skin, the ordinary. Oh, niacinamide and zinc, fantastic, thank you. Can I just say, can you all answer each other's questions for a second? That's brilliant. Now, I'm gonna do my vitamins. So, in the morning I do, Two flax seeds, and I love Solgar. It's a, it's a range I've used a lot. Um, and I think it works well. And my lady who did my colonic, she said to me, take two a morning because they really help you. I actually take two a morning and two at night. I'm never one for doing things under. Um, vitamin C, I take two every morning. I don't take them at night unless I got a cold and then I take two every two hours. And I take the Solga one, 1,000. I have also taken the, there's a 3,000 one too. So I love that. Um, chronium, we've got a lot of people who have issues around chronium, 
but I am comfortable with ionic chromium and this is quite good to help uh, stop sugar cravings and because I'm such a sugar craving mad person I do need it I have another option for chromium too which I'm just gonna see if I can show you it's gonna come up later probably um, but that uh, metabolics is a good chromium to use uh, I take a few drops of that in the morning I don't do it at night um, I like life extensions this is from Victoria Health and Victoria Health started off as an online brand just dealing in supplements they know more about supplements than i know about anything and uh, they sent me three good ones um jill who runs it and i trust her emphatically so i'm taking immune health which is just for my immune system and then i'm taking another two. Oh wait here's the other one mood that's always a good one for january why not and i'd gonna i'd like to tell you what's in it but um it's got Anyway, it's got a lot, lot of good things in it. I'm, I haven't looked at the back. I just trust her. Memory support is something to consider. And I feel that I am 54. My mother has Alzheimer's. And I just kind of see memory support written on something. And I think, great. This is actually recommended to me by a um, lady. But it has a lot of ginkgo bilbao. And it has in it, what else it got in it? Um... It just got brain food. I'm going to call it brain food. Brain food. Um, then I also take biotin. Now, biotin is something I've discussed a lot. For those of you who've heard it before, it is, um, you know, there, there's no scientific backup, total backup, that biotin actually will make your hair grow. But... Many people who take it feel it does. And I talked to you a little bit about my friend Zandi, who is actually a, a, a sort of scientist, very well-respected scientist, and she takes it a lot and she believes in it. And I think because of that, I believe her, um, because I think she knows a lot more about it. Um, and I take probably four a night, oh, four a morning. All right, I don't take them at night. That's that. Then you see a thing, oh my God, she's mad. This is the other chromium, which is trichromium. And this is just helping um, for your blood sugar levels. Uh, you know, when you stop taking sugar, there's a chance blood sugar levels are gonna go really up and down. Mine were up and down anyway before because I, I had that thing of desperately needing carbohydrates and then going whoop. So I kind of, I take it. Some people are against chromium, but I found two that are good. And so I'm happy with it. Drainage milia, now let's talk about water retention. So since I've started my routine, and I'm doing my stuff. I'm feeling more toned even after um, nine days. But more importantly, I, my heavy leg syndrome is getting better. And I'm not feeling so kind of puffy in my legs. And that's because I am doing quite a lot of stuff about the water retention. So um, I have got drainage milieu, which I discussed last week. This is from Dr. Julia Hunter in New York. Um, skin, um, Dr. Julie Hunter in LA, skin therapy, she has a site called, and she does Physica. These are all her sort of organic, good drops and, and, and ranges. And this is her drainage one, which I like. Um, yes, cranium. Uh, you know what, Mariam? I do. I'm self-prescribing, so I'm telling you only what I'm doing for myself. But I have got three or four women I talk to a lot who are kind of nutritionists and, and experts. So this is what I've kind of refined as my choice. But I'll do this full on thing for January and then I'll probably ease off some of them. So I might stop taking the cronium when I've kind of got that a bit under control or, or take a very low dosage. The drainage milieu, I think once I've sort of got my body in shape, I won't take it so much. Um, and then I might just take it a bit in the summer when my um, when my you know, my legs might feel quite heavy, um, but I haven't finished yet. I've got one or two more. Uh, Physica does, uh, we all have heard about digestive enzymes. So I used to take two digestive enzymes from anywhere. And then I discovered there's many different types of enzymes you can take. And I think when my food wasn't very good, it was even more important that I had good digestive enzymes or hypozymes that would help sort of break down my food and help me absorb it and give good enzymes in my body. So since I'm now doing healthier food, I might not need to take so many of these. So when this runs out, I probably then take, but at the moment I take two a morning hypozyme, and then I have a different one, which is called Nat Colon. 
and I do have, I've talked about it, this very long colon, and um, you took a well woman vitamin tablet this morning, you had to run to lose to be sick. You have a low tolerance, darling. I think I've built up, you know me, I've built up a high tolerance on everything. Nat Colon <coughs> is helping with my healthy colon. So that's the vitamins. Hang on, is there one more here? Yeah. Magnesium at night. Um, I've talked about this, but I take magnesium for helping me to sleep for helping to have a softer stool. Um, magnesium is something every single woman should be taking as they are reaching a peri perimenopausal stage. I take four a night. Um, and I also take omega-3, 6, and 9, which is a bit of brain food and a bit of the flaxseedy combo. And I take two of those. So I'm taking quite a lot. I, I tell you what's very interesting. If you're younger, and you have a slightly oily skin, do not take those two together, all right? Because you will get spots, all right? And some people who have an oilier skin, from omega-3, 6, and 9s, vitamin E stuff, they can get spots. I'm past that because I'm such a shriveled old prune that I won't. I'm just gonna get a hot flannel because I gotta take off this mask in a minute. Hold on, because I wanna show you the rest of my skincare routine. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'll take the mask off now. There we go. Oh, oh. It's very good, this mask. I really like it. And I left it on the right amount of time this time, actually. Oh. oh, yes. Yes, my skin feels fresh. I feel working on I have been doing, by the way, did I say I've been doing Davina's 10 minute? I got some on my neck, thank you. Um, I've been doing Davina's 10 Minute uh, Toned in 10, and it's such a good, she's so funny. I actually knew Davina years ago, and her character comes through so well. I like these, you're, oh, excuse me. It's just so, so embarrassing. All right, so, um, let me just take you, I'm gonna take you through, it depends on what type of magnesium. Can anyone tell me what vitamin she said for hair growth? Yes, I can, darling, I can come back to you. Biotin, there. And also, just so you know, if you're really worried about hair growth, I go and do PRP, which is the kind of, um, you know, the plasma injected back into your face. And that's why sometimes when some of you say, am I a bit puffy, I might have had PRP because she puts back in the plasma and then my skin can get a bit puffy and then it goes down. But I also had her, she started doing it here and I don't know, this nice little bit of hair growth, that's a bit of biotin, it could be a bit of the doing the needling. I also do stimulate with that needle here occasionally because you should stimulate your hair follicle. So when you talk about microneedling and do not use the same microneedle for your hair as you might anywhere else, it's interesting to just really think how do we stimulate our hair. And the basic principle of brush your hair uh, I have a friend of mine who brushes his hair this way and then this way, and that stimulation of his scalp, he has the most incredible mane of hair. Uh, so stimulation of the scalp is very key, and I think that's important. Do I have these on every stomach better? Generally, I get up and I eat, um, I'll tell you what I'm eating too. I get up, I eat half a banana with some almond nuts, and then I go and do a bit of a workout. Then I come back, then I do my, take all my pills, um, and then I have avocado with smoked salmon for breakfast with a green matcha tea. I haven't really had coffee so much, uh, but I'm not saying no to it. Um, and then, by the way, I'm just going to do my normal skincare routine, CE Philuric, which is anyone who's got skin pigmentation. It's one of my favorite vitamin C's. I will put these products up on the blog tomorrow. But I'll either do the copper isolate, copper amino isolate from Niod first, which I've spoken about before, but it's a brilliant base for any skincare products you're going to put on afterwards because it kind of helps the delivery system of skincare products. And then I will do my favorite um, vitamin C. Let me hold it there for a little bit longer for you. Um, so not really on an empty stomach, exactly, yes. That was, uh, I, I should just say, no, not on an empty stomach. Then a brand I am loving, and I use this in at night too, is De Mamiel. De Mamiel is such a nice organic brand and I had, discovered it in Content Beauty, and then I discovered a little bit more these wonderful, I'm gonna to talk to you about them in a minute, um, rollerball things to stimulate your mood and how you're feeling. But she has a um, cleansing balm. The smell is 
mesmerizing. It's so fantastic. Of all cleansing balms, I love it. It's not cheap and I love it. So it's special occasionally. I do it, I probably do it every other morning and then I do Sarah Chapman. And then I do her antioxidant serum. Now sometimes serums are about working. I don't particularly like to put on a hyaluronic serum um, because I feel it makes everything a bit dry. This serum is so divine. It's kind of white and milky. There it is. And unlike lots of serums from um, aromatherapy type brands, which generally are oils, this feels creamy, spunky, whatever it feels like. It just, sorry, that was so awful. This feels just, it just feels very nice, a mixture of cream and oil. Um, and, and it's sort of, you can just smell all the essential oils and then it slightly, not dries on your skin, but it does dry a bit on your skin. You feel it plumps up your skin. Uh, and then I'm going to do retinol and nag. No, I'm not going to do that. I haven't got a bloody moisturizer today. That's such a, oh yes, I have. Oh yes, sorry, please ignore that comment. Please ignore that comment. Um, it's also confusing, Kelly. Darling, I don't want to confuse you. If you don't want to be confused, go on to Trini London, go to Tea Time and look at some things for what specifically you might be looking for. So if you feel it's retinol or day creams, I've got my secret seven moisturizers, my secret seven day creams. I'm just sharing with you my full routine for the moment, but basically I put on an exfoliator in the morning and then I sometimes do a mask. Otherwise I'll do a serum, but before that I'll do a vitamin C and then I'll do a moisturizer. At night, I do a bit of a vitamin A retinol routine. So we can keep it simple. And some days, some days at night, I will do de Mamiel and then I'll do the EGF serum and that's it. I can do that four nights a week actually, but I'll do it with, because I can never stop, with microneedling first. And EGF serum is, I think, a fantastic product. It's got, well, a lot of people are, some people love it and some people don't. I love it and I think it works. So you've got to read up about it and um, see what you think. But um, I'm going to, yes, I'm sorry, I was off track here. Off track here, must say you do look fabulous. So thank you very much, Paula. Um, do I like it, Brian? Yes, I did. Okay, so Josh Rosebrook, we could do, you know, Le Ambrelise at this stage, 18 pounds. We could do um, Universal Emulsion from Lixia, which is a fantastic basic moisturizer, but I am loving this product and some of you might have um, had his mask, which is the blue mask, I can't remember the name of it, but this is like the cream for the mask. You know how Sizzly have Sizzly, the Black Rose um, mask, and then they brought out the um, Black Rose cream. This is the equivalent from Josh because he has his blue mask, but now the Vital Day cream is based on the same thing. So I put that on and you feel, even though it's coming in a cream base, I'm putting a lot on, sorry. You feel the oils in it. Um, and you can see that in my skin now. But I might, I'm gonna show you a new little tool. I sometimes use my little um, Jean Philbert roller and it's very good if you're just waking up your skin in the morning. Uh, many of you have seen me use this, but it just stimulates. And any of you who are getting a saggy jaw, I do do this and I'll do it with my little exercise routine. So. I think if you're thinking I don't have time to do all these things, think of how we can multitask. So I will do my little raises. So I've got below, which you cannot see, I'm in the five position, the ballet position. And then I just lift my toes, I'm sorry, lift my heels quickly and then come down incredibly slowly um, and lift your heels and have your heels really close together and then come down slowly. And this man I met in Ibiza years ago, said to me, if you do this very slowly and you do these when you're just doing your, you know, he said do them when you're doing your exercise routine, but you know, I do this when I'm washing my face in the morning. Because you're doing the slow measured coming down, you work out every part of your bloody leg. It's so simple and it takes two seconds. So I do that. Um, and just do a bit of rolling, rolling, rolling. There we go, rolling, rolling, rolling. And the other thing I've been using recently, which I quite like, I quite like, but it's sort of interesting, is um, is this, I can't remember the name of it. I'll get you the name, but I'll put it on the vlog. Looks like a little angel. But if you want to kind of push up your cheekbones, you can push up your cheekbones. 
push up your cheekbones, push up. Now, at the same time, by the way, I could be doing a leg lift. So don't feel, and then push up your cheekbones, you see? And it sort of stimulates, you can do your jawline, just pushing it up, because I feel gravity is taking everything down, ladies. Everything's coming down. And we want to push it up. So anything you can do for two minutes in the morning is a good plan and you stimulate your skin, and it's all about skin stimulation. Whatever else I do, because I do Botox and I do the PRP, ultimately, if I didn't do this kind of skin stimulation for me, I know that my skin would not be in the state of sin. And my skin at the moment, especially not having sugar, my God, can I just say something? All right, so why is my skin looking better? I'm eating well, I'm exercising, so oxygen is going around much more around my body, and which gets to every bit of my body. So that's definitely a reason. And then I would say, I'm not smoking so much. So I'm gonna end up now getting ready for my morning. So I've got my mini, this is my miniest mini stack here. And my miniest mini stack contains my um, BFF, which I've mixed medium and light. And the bits around the side are because when it's in the jar and you get a little pot with your BFF, it oxidizes. And that oxidization just means that it's gonna turn the color because the whole point of this cream is you put it on and I put it on as a white cream and it's gonna turn to the color of my skin. Turn to the color of my skin, but SPF 30, there's a lot to be said for wearing an SPF 24 seven because we have so much damage from computer screens, sun outside, everything. So I put that on. It sort of increases the glow, increases the glow, increases the glow. I'm feeling really good today. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit of just stuff. This is a very good thing, by the way, if you're going to the gym and you want to just, you know, let's say you're single and you're going to the gym and you think, I don't want to look like I got makeup on, but I want to look well. I want people like the side of me saying, hmm, two things I'd suggest for gym attire. Many people think I'll go to the gym and I'll just, you know, I'll kind of wear the big baggy t-shirt, wait till I'm fit, you know, and then show off the figure. Now, and I know my figure's getting better, but I'm just going to say, tuck it in! Tuck it in, because then you won't give yourself the shortest little legs from wearing a big t-shirt over a trainer. Tuck it in, bring it up. These are sweaty, vetty ones. Bring it up to your waist. Feel the shape. And then when you look in the mirror and you're doing a workout or a class, you're beginning to feel the shape. That's important. That's really important. Take this to the gym um, so you can cover up any little bits around your nose. But it's not, when you sweat, it's not going to go in your pores and kill you are just a touch foundation concealer. It just is going to really take things, disappear them away. I'll put it on my chin. And then my final thing, it's so simple, Talis Lip Glow because I want her slightly, little bit on my lips. And then even though I'll probably get really red in the gym, you know, I might put that on there because it just goes, hi, I'm awake and I'm alive, hi. And you'll notice I have no lashes on because I've been doing my get well with my lashes and Edie, who does my eyelashes for me, who is utterly brilliant. And actually I'll probably see tonight, but I've been spending a few, um, two weeks letting them just uh, breathe by themselves. So this is my lashes. I'm using Talika eyelash conditioning gel here. That's what I do every morning to condition my lashes. So even when I'm wearing fake lashes, I use this Talika eyelash conditioning gel because it just makes your lashes glisten. Do you see? They're just a bit glistening. So those are my real lashes without lashes. Um, and I'll probably have new ones on. But anyway, ladies, I hope you have a good Sunday. And if you, oh yes, two last things, sorry. Because there's the whole thing's on the train. I want to go through with them. Um, hair. So I went to Birchbox with Lila at the weekend. Uh, yesterday, that was the weekend. And um, my hair's all right today. But I was just going to say, that they had a mini in Birchbox, a mini, it was on um, Carnaby Street, um, Apre Beach Wave Spray, because it's so huge, they're bottles, and it makes, puts me off buying them, and they're so expensive. But that, and what this does, the beach spray, is I'll do that, and then you just go with your hair, and it just creates, creates a bit of texture. Liberally spraying it on, and then you just mush it together, like that, mush, 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 
mush, mush, mush. Mush as much as you like. And there we are. Yay! Um, I'm using, last but not least, snacks. When you're doing a healthy thing, it's at 10 o'clock at night where you think, I'm still hungry. I'm eating, you know, for dinner, I'll have chicken with vegetables, all very healthy, but it's like I'm so wanting something sweet and the chromium is slightly helping. So my snack, it sounds pathetic, but it tastes okay, is I do a celery stick and inside I put one of these nut butters. Nut butter sounds so healthy and not me, but the nip and nut butter smooth almond and this one coconut almond butter unbelievably delicious to a sort of thin layer and then i put about eight raisins in cut it into pieces like each one is a lovely treat and eat it and if i don't do that raw chocolate is coming my way because chef shine i was looking at she did a wonderful post if you don't follow chef shine you must follow her she did a wonderful post this morning she's in australia right now and just talking about quite spiritually stuff, so you might get into that or not, but she speaks such lovely words of wisdom, and she was the one who introduced me to saying it's okay to have some chocolate. So now I haven't had any sugar at all. I might, from next week, have a little bit of raw organic chocolate every day, because I need my treat, need my treat. Have a gorgeous Sunday, ladies. And um, you might want to do it culling your wardrobe. You might want to go to the vitamin shop and think, okay, um, let me go and see what kind of vitamins I want to take. I do give you lots of products to think about. Um, I don't want to confuse you, but what I'll do is I'll do a post um, which we'll put up on the blog tomorrow and I'll try and categorize them to make it easier for you to see everything I've talked about. Um, you're asking me one last look at the name. What's the name of the lash conditioner? Talika eyelash conditioning, conditioning gel. But I'll leave it all on the blog. So have a good Sunday, ladies. Mwah, mwah, mwah.